we call processing a regrettable incident. Now, here's what that means. Um, this is a particular intervention. When you've had a really bad fight where some of those four horsemen have thundered through the conversation, um, it's really important to go back with your partner and talk about what happened in the, in the way that you communicated, what went wrong in the way you communicated, and then apologize for it. And we have a five-step process for this, where each person names their feelings that they had during the regrettable incident, then they narrate their point of view about what transpired. And needless to say, there's always two points of view, and they can feel like they're on opposite planets, but they're both valid, they're both right. So each one presents their point of view, the other one summarizes what they just heard the partner say, and gives a few words of validation, like, I get it, I can see how you would have felt that way. And then third, they talk about what may have gotten triggered for them. And triggers mean feelings that come up for you during a fight or regrettable incident that are the same feelings you may have had long before this relationship that may have started in childhood or in a former relationship. <clears throat> and those can include things like abandonment, rejection, feeling judged, um, feeling frightened, those kinds of old feelings you've been carrying inside you your whole life, perhaps. So you talk about those triggers and what stories go with those from your past. You share one of those. So your partner really understands better the scars that you carry inside from old experiences uh, and can try to avoid triggering those. And then the fifth step is to talk about one thing you can do differently and one thing your partner can do differently to avoid something like this from happening again. That's how you process a regrettable incident.